hope you're having a wonderful day. Thanks so much for joining me and Happy New Year to you all. Thanks for spending your Happy New Year's Day with me. Today I get to share with you the Spellbinders card kit of the month. We're going to do an unboxing and then following this video at the very end I did do 10 cards with this kit. This month's kit is called Love the Moment and we're going to take a look at everything that's in this kit and so we're going to just open it up. And I always am real delicate with a sticker. I don't know why. I guess I'm the same way with Christmas presents. I'm just very, um, I don't want to hurt it, I suppose. But I guess I, next time I'm just going to tear it open. How about that for New Year's? Okay, this is your content sheet. On the reverse side is a step-by-step -step tutorial. Usually using the dies that are included in the month kind of gives you um, an idea on how to put it, everything together. So we're going to set this aside and take a look at the cardstock. The cardstock is, um, you get eight sheets in total. Two mirror cardstocks in gold and silver. They're double sided, which makes it great for die cutting. And then you get six sheets of colored cardstock in black, red, pink, two shades of purple with the light and the dark, and then white. So those are your colored card. Kind of sets a real pretty color palette here. Okay, we're going to take a look at our uh, 10 card bases, 10 envelopes. They are A2 in size, and I love that they, I always say this, but I do love that they include the envelopes. They're pre-scored and folded, and they're side folding. We're going to take a, before we take a look at the dies, we'll take a look at the 6x6 paper pack. It's called Love the Moment. Um, I'm going to take it out of the plastic, trim off the top of it, and then this way I have a place to store my paper pack. I can slide in my um, bits and pieces when I make my 10 cards in the very back. You get 40 sheets. They're single-sided pattern papers. Some of the papers have some beautiful gold foiling or accent to them. Nice little shimmer. And you get two of each pattern. And I love that they're two tones. You get some black and white. And I think they're versatile for both uh, men and women, which makes it really fun. So this is um, your 6 by 6 Love the Moment paper pack which is an add-on, by the way. If you're interested in or would like another pack, it's available separately outside the kit. This is your stamp set. You get some beautiful sentiments and then a beautiful floral arrangement with a frame that you can fit those sentiments in. And then you also get a sticker pack. This is a three-layer sticker pack. The top layer has some 3D dimensional stickers. Second layer has some sentiment strips along with some circles that you could use for envelope seals. Some um, tags and banners and then the last sheet here has some fun sentiments um, the stickers this month are um, um, hip on the heavy duty side so we're going to take a look at the, the backpack here um, sometimes I wasn't sure if there would be a white border around the stickers but there is except for the gold the gold doesn't have any white border which is really nice we're just going to tuck that back in it's a lot quicker <laughs> and set that aside Okay, next we're going to show you some gems that are beautiful. You get three different colors and four different sizes, and they match your pattern paper pack beautifully. And now I'm going to take a piece of our card base, and then I'm going to share with you everything that's in our die cut pack. Um, the die cut pack actually and the sticker sheet are both add-ons also, so they're available outside the kit. Um, you get two of each pattern in the die cut pack. And as I go through them, I'm going to share with you a little bit about the Club Kit of the Month from Spellbinders. Now, it's a monthly card kit subscription. Spellbinders has lots of club kits, um, but this is probably one of my favorites because of everything that you get in it. Um, it's a great value. If you're in the United States, shipping is included with a kit cost, and it's $38.50. So I think it makes it a really great value. You get all of these die-cut pieces, pattern papers, um, cardstock, stickers, stamp sets, um, and a fun die set also. So I encourage you to check it out. And also, um, the add-ons too, as I mentioned, this month are different every month. Um, this month, there's three of them. There is the 6x6 Love the Moment paper pack. There's the Love the Moment um, sticker pack. And then there's also these die cut shapes. So if you are not a fan of the card kit, don't want all those goodies um, delivered to your door, you can also just pick up the die cut pack um, if that's what you like, or the paper pattern paper if that's what you like. So I love that, that that option's available outside the kit. So 
those three items are not exclusive to the kit. They're extras, which make it nice. And I'll leave links down below to um, the card kit extras for you guys to check out. <laughs> and we're still going. Again, you get two. And these um, die cut pieces have um, some gold foiled accents as well. And they match the pattern paper and your stickers beautifully. So I love that everything coordinates. And there's elements in here for both men and women, which makes it nice. I'm going to tuck all of these back in here and zoom back out. And we're going to continue with the kit. You get some a package of some beautiful um, gold glitter leaves. Now these um, have pieces that you can punch out the centers. And they're very heavy duty. Very thick. Um, I would almost call them chipboard. They're, they're thick. Not quite as thick as chipboard, but pretty close. <laughs> Um, the glitter on these uh, leaves does shed. It's not a no shed glitter. So you'll get glitter on your, your hands, which I don't mind actually. They're so pretty and great make great elements for cards. I don't mind the, the glitter. And they clean up beautifully with a swipper wiper. Swipper wiper cloth. <laughs> so you get all of those and there's tons. And then we're gonna put everything aside. I wanna share with you the die cuts this month. Now these are so nice, there's 11 dies in total, and you can create a cute little convertible car, which will be great for boys or girls. Then you get some balloons, this um, balloon dies that will spell out the word love, but it also will um, fit inside the balloon to create um, a sentiment in the balloons, which is neat. Now I'm gonna create the car and then the, um, I'm gonna die cut it all out for you to show you what it looks like. And then the die cut pieces that I use, I'm gonna use in my 10 cards. So I chose some of the silver mirror cardstock. And then I also chose the white, the pink and the red. And then um, we're gonna do some die cutting. We're gonna put the rest of these aside, bring in my paper trimmer. Um, when I die cut, I like to cut my paper in half and then I'll quarter one of those halves. Actually, it's not really quartering, it's halving the half. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so here we're just going to half our silver mirror. It just makes it easier for me to run through the die cut machine. And then I have that extra piece too. Um, if I want to create a card base with it, I have that option. We're going to layer a few of these cardstock sheets together and then trim it in half and then trim it in half once more. Okay. We're ready to go. Now for my car, I want to die cut out. We're going to make a nice shiny silver car. So I'm going to use the mirror card stock with the car. And then for the balloons, we're going to die cut it out with the pink and the red card stock. And we have a sentiment in here also that says um, V in the mo um, and, and moment. So two sentiments that say the and then moment. I'm going to die cut those out with the red card stock. And then um, it's nice because you have that word love. So your sentiment would read love the moment. Now the love um, is is actually balloon dies that you can fit inside the, the outline die of the balloon. And I'll show you that in just a minute. And um, with the white card stock, we're going to die cut out some of the wheel and the, the car embellishments. And then... Um, I'm just going to run everything through my die cut machine a few times and then I get to share with you how to put it together. together. And again, your, your content sheet will uh, work as a guide. So everything's die cut. Um, the card does have pieces that you can punch out. In fact, if you wanted to die cut it out with black card stock, again, you can inlay those pieces that we punched out um, and then just tape it on the back just for a little added detail. See these little pieces that punch out. Um, you can do that, or you can take a strip of the black card stock and just put it right behind your car. I like just using glue to secure it, and then I'll use my scissors and um, just die cut out a scratch piece of paper behind the car. I like to add dimension to my car, so I'll pop it up, and this helps helps me with that. Okay, so that's the base of our car. We're going to work on our wheels. Um, I needed to die cut out one more piece of... Um, the, the hubcaps <laughs> um, with white card stock. So that's what I did just then. I'm going to add a little dimension by adding some foam squares to the black tires. Then we're going to add the hubcaps. Maybe if they're hubcaps, maybe they're rims. 
I have no clue when it comes to cards, so bear with me. Or <laughs> um, I'm going to add some foam adhesive directly to my card base and then pop up those wheels. And I think this is a super fun convertible. Love that. <laughs> okay, I'm going to go ahead. And there are these little detail pieces that go inside your rims or your hubcap. <laughs> Oops, but I'm going to color the, I, cu I die cut them out with white cardstock. I'm going to use my gray Copic marker and color them in gray. Add a dot of glue to the center of my tires. And then we'll um, just pick these up and put them on our little convertible. Our fancy little, I would like to have one of those little convertibles. <laughs> okay, we're going to add our small little pieces that go at the back of the car. And I think they're called um, bumpers. <laughs> In which I noticed these days cars don't have bumpers no more we're gonna add um, a bumper or a fender I think it's a front fender to our car too and then there's this little piece it's a rack that you can add to the back this reminds me of one of those James Bond cars um, <laughs> but we're gonna add our rack which is perfect for adding those balloons to and that's what um, the content sheet um, shows is the balloons attached to that rack which is super neat so there's my car love that my little James Bond car <laughs> okay now we're gonna work on the balloons the balloons I use the um, the heart die and die cut out pink and red balloons okay just solid ones now if you wanted to inlay those heart dies with the letters um, you can do that that way you have the letters inside the balloon um, this is your the moment die so pretty it's in a very pretty font so there's that now here's your little heart die that we cut out all the balloons with I did red and pink um, we're gonna put the pink behind the balloons that have the letters die cut out but I did die cut out some extra balloons I didn't use them in my 10 cards but I thought we could have them on hand for Valentine's Day it would be really nice I'm gonna add a little dimension to my balloons by adding some foam adhesive to the back side of the lettered die cut ones then we'll just attach them to the pink ones that way our L is peeking through in nice and pink color now um, I'm going to do that with the rest of them and all you do is add your letters inside the balloon and it die cuts out now the letters that spell out love don't actually die cut out a heart you have to use the outline heart to die cut out the balloon with the heart in it if that makes any sense at all <laughs> but there's our 3d little balloons that spell out the word love and then we have the inside pieces too that you can keep also if you want to add those to your card you can now we have these love balloons or oh, they look like balloons but are hearts okay I'm gonna line them up on some red cardstock I'm gonna actually um, each of the hearts are gonna be touching each other so they're evenly spaced and then I'm gonna take some purple tape and adhere them all together and then I'm gonna run that through my die cut machine I wanted to show you that just because their hearts doesn't mean they're gonna die cut out a heart um, they just they cut out the word love which is fantastic so um, that's an option too if you want to add that to your card project you can just um, add the love not the heart balloons <laughs> so this is everything that's in this month's kit called love the moment um, stay tuned for my 10 cards again it's at the very end and at the end too I have a sneak peek of all 10 cards that I'm making so I thank you so much for joining me I hope your new year is going fantastic and we will see you again real soon bye bye